grace was still upon you. And it's still upon you. Amen. Despite Amen. your condition. Yes. Amen. He, was, he wasn't letting me prophesy to them. He was letting me see the angels of the Lord still encamped around me Amen. despite my sin. And he wasn't going to let nothing happen to me until Amen. I wake up and get out of this. And he waited for you too. The reason why all y'all here is because the angels of the Lord are encamped around about you too. Because y'all ain't dead. Amen. Well, y'all are truly blessed up in here. Y'all just don't realize how blessed you really are. Yeah. Amen. I'm ministering to somebody up here. Because he almost didn't make it. It was a narrow escape for life. That's why we go to church. The reason why you go to church is because it's a narrow escape for you. And if you don't have no other place to run, the church is always open. I used to drag myself to church. Sucked up, drawn up, didn't know what was going to happen. But I was going to be sitting at church. No matter what my condition was on Friday and Saturday, after I got paid, Sunday I was sitting there. Thus says the Lord. Jones and Gore cigarette too at the same time. Well, I can't wait to serve so I can smoke. Okay, I guess I'm the only one. Amen. That's why we go to church. It is our tower that we run into. What, what is that? What is that verse about the tower of the Lord? We run into it, and it is what? Saved. Amen. Oh no. Mm. Oh yes. Amen. <laughs> All right. This is our life. We have nothing else to do but be obedient, come to church, and praise God. If you've been home, if you have an addiction, if you have mental illness, if you have just gotten out of jail, prison, your main focus that God is looking at is whether or not you want to come to church and be obedient. Amen. He said it. When you first get off of or out of your deliverance, God is not rushing you to go to work. No. First of all, he wants to see for at least a year or more. And the scripture even says for a whole year they did service. Yeah. All right, one year. All I did was what? Work, home, church. Work, home, church. Exactly. Accountability. That worked. Because somebody saw me no matter where I was at for accountability. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So you can show trust again to the people you hurt and unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. Through what? Work, home, church. Yes. Now sometimes that work is right here in the church. Right. See, what y'all fail to understand, this may be a church, but this will be called in ministry a parachurch. Anybody ever heard that term? Yes. A parachurch are ministries that help people receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. It is not a membership. It is not a school of theology. No. It's to get you saved and then maybe put you on your way toward a membership or a denomination, which I'm not into. No. All right? But if you get your feet wet and get disciples so that you can become a proper Christian in life. Amen. 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 So we're here to build you. Hopefully you'll get enough word in you and say, well, I need to stay at friendship and help there for a year or two. Well, I'm going to go join a local church. Amen. Now, Pastor would love for this to become a local church. Amen. And under the Presbyterian doctrine, it really is a church. But none of you are members, right? Some of you, most of you in here are not even Presbyterian. Not sure. But you're coming right here to get fed. Thank you, Presbyterians. Amen. 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 But this is designed to get you saved. And hope they can get you sold out for the Lord that you may even leave here and go find a place Amen. Amen. where you can go serve and be faithful to Jesus. Amen. That's what parachurches do. Amen. So we're not here to teach you theology. We're here to help you get saved. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Now when you get in your own home church, they'll teach you theology. There you they'll teach you what they expect out of you. But here, it's about you changing your life for the better. Amen. 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 All right. <laughs> We're not even All right. Because if you try something else outside of God, it's going to kill you. If you try something outside of Jesus, people, it's going to kill you. Because first of all, you can't accept Jesus and then deny Jesus. No. 
Because then Jesus is going to get angry. You can't claim Jesus and then claim Allah. I heard they got this movie mentioned back in Philadelphia called uh, Chris Long. Y'all heard that? Chris Long. So now Christians are blending Christianity and Islam together and making it okay. You can't serve Islam as a Christian. Because first of all, they don't believe in no son in their God. They say Jesus is a prophet and a teacher. And they actually believe he's going to return and be dead and lay next to Muhammad in the in the Kaaba. Now why would he return and die again? <laughs> they got a grave next to Muhammad prepared for Jesus. <laughs> it sounds perverted to me, though. <laughs> See, when it starts getting tough around here, your mind starts thinking backward towards south. And that's why you will choose a religion that will solve your, you know, uh, satisfy your flesh. Wow, wow. Islam satisfies your flesh. Yeah, no. They don't care that you won't get high. Yeah. Just say you can have many wives. Yeah, as well. All birds. What's it about sex, power, money? Yeah. Yeah. Just don't do this. <coughs> the devil don't even care. You know why? As long as you don't accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you don't care. He'll let you have anything you want. You want to get high? Get high. You don't want to get high? Don't get high. Just don't accept Jesus. I and they start to permeate all these AAs and MAs and CA programs. Oh. Oh, yes. You call yourself something you ain't. I'm an addict. No, if you want it, then you say it. Right. <laughs> I'm in recovery. The devil is alive. I've been recovered 2,000 years ago.
this fight you can make. Keep speaking your future. Keep speaking what you want. Because you have the same power. How many of you have been made in the image of God? Amen. 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 So, if you made in the image of God, what was the first thing God did? He spoke everything into existence. And he said, I'm going to do the same thing for you. Speak what you want. Amen. I'm missing sex. I saw this seven years. And boy, I thought I was missing something. I remember the first, and I was telling me why I'm married. Why did you do that? Well, wrong story. But, but I remember going to my pastor's office the first three years. Because I couldn't believe it. But I didn't get so up until God made love to me. What do you mean? All y'all get out the flesh. Because if I could explain it, it wasn't God. All I know is I got on my knee one night and I got up and I've never had a sexual desire towards sin again. Amen. See, God will never take away your sexual desire. He gave it to you. And he showed you. Amen.
know why he sounds like you? Because the devil will speak to you contrary to God's word. You want to speak to you according to your flesh. And God will always speak to you according to his word. Now, all three sound alike. Right? But you know why God sounds like you? Because he knows you're too private, too simple, and too eager to do to listen to nobody else but you. That's why he sounds like you. You, because he know you ain't going to see nobody else but you. Come on. Too real for you. Can't hear me. Can't hear me. Y'all talking about how God sound? There you go. Yeah. He sound like you. Yeah. Stubborn, egotistical, and proud. Wow, that was powerful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's why God told a lot, don't even turn around because it takes time to turn. It's only a second, but God said, I want that second. Because that second caused Lot's wife her life. See? Stop, stop. Didn't take no time for her to turn to a thunderstorm. And God even wants that second. Because you gotta understand something I heard preachers just say this week. That God is outside of time. He already knows the success of you before you. He stands outside of time, so ain't no time in God. That's why he called it Alpha and the Omega. The first and the last, the beginning and the end, because he ain't in time. He sees that ending from the beginning. Or the beginning. Hello. So despite you not seeing your success, God already saw where you go. And if that's where faith comes in people, to believe it's gonna happen. Stop looking at the current circumstances. Go to Luke 9, 62. No, make that 61. Luke 9. But a lot of you stay in your comfort zone. A lot of you don't even believe or trust in God. A lot of you pretend to put your hand to the plow and act like you want to do God's will. But Jesus got a message for you when you want to be phony with it. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I know this and I know that. See, there are some of you right now who have read their Bible <laughs> over and over again and don't think they have to pick it up no more. Oh, I know that. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ain't got to listen to that. I know that. Even before the man of God, he just said, Luke, now nah. oh, I know where you're going. That's called the know it all spirit. <laughs> you know it all. <laughs> and you can't be used of God when you know it all. Hallelujah. It's called the number one. You got to be careful when you begin to. Uh, guess what's going to happen or hardly know what's going to happen. You don't know. That's why you need to bring your Bible. I don't care if you read it a hundred million times. What that preacher can say, I know what he can say. No, you don't. And even if you do know, so what? Humble yourself and read it again. Because it's going to last forever. This is the only thing that lasts forever. Everything else will be destroyed, but the word of God will go. You know why? You know why it's going to last forever? They can burn every Bible in the earth. But as long as one saint is living, the word lives. Amen. Don't y'all even know y'all gonna be preaching the gospel of angels? Don't that blow your mind? When you get to heaven, you're gonna be teaching the angels the gospel. Because they don't know the gospel. They follow you to know the gospel. But half of them can't follow you because they're sitting outside of crack house. Because they're sitting outside of beer joint. They're sitting outside of weed place. They're just like, when are these people? Because each of y'all got two following you around. And they can't do no work because you still want to sit. <laughs> so they just wait. Well, we wait eternity for us to do some work. God, you made us do work for this woman, and she's still doing her dirt. Boy, I knew they was happy when I woke up. Lord, we can work now. Look at that boy. <laughs> but they working now for me. But you, they just sitting around waiting. And see, angels were made to stand. So that means you've been standing as long as you didn't move. Hey. It's a long time standing. They would love to sit. They can't because they weren't made to sit. They were made to stand and do work. How would you like if somebody just made you stand for eternity? <laughs> Your legs would get cracked, wouldn't it? <laughs> Luke 9. God just took me way off my message for y'all. Uh, you know, now watch this. Y'all started moving. Man, this is fell on me. <laughs> 